Good evening. Welcome to Tuesday, May 25th, 2021, regular selectmen's meeting. Um, we have selectmen Ken Mannon, Noah Cobbs, and myself here tonight. Is Ed and Mark will not be here tonight. We have the town manager and the town clerk with us. Uh, please stand with me and salute the flag. I pledge, pledge allegiance, allegiance to, to the flag of the United, United States, States of America, America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, everybody. Um, uh, first, order of business is the approval of our May 11th meeting minutes. I'll make a motion that we accept the minutes as presented. Second. A motion and a second. No further discussion. I'll go through the roll. Is Ken? Yes. Noah? Yes. And myself is a yes. Um, <clears throat> public comment. We have no public comment. Is um, The town clerk did make me aware of uh, somebody asking about when we're going to be working on the roads today. Uh oh, today somebody asked about when we're going to be working on the roads. And uh, we want to explain that we need to pass the budget before we can do the road work. We do have some money left over from last year to take care of the miscellaneous things. But in order to do the majority of the work, we need to have the budget passed in order to get this done. Yep. Um, and could you tell us what roads are planned on being done this year? Yep. There's a section of Cranberry Meadow Road and Everybody should know where it is. It's to travel that road. It's in tough shape. Also, uh, Long Swamp Road, there's a, uh, two sections there that part of it we're going to do a shim and overlay and the other we're tearing up. Um, and then it's a toss up between, uh, we're going to do some on. Uh, Oak Sanford Road, was it? No, it's Winding Brook. Oh, yeah. The, yeah it's the cul-de-sac yep. that's falling apart. We're planning on doing that. Um, and tall timbers, there's some stuff in there we're no. going to do. Um, no. See how far that gets us. Right. The price of oil is going up, so yeah. I'm sure the price of paving is going up. Right. So we'll see how it goes. Um, there's no other public comment. We'll move on. We have a public hearing today. The public hearing is for the June 8th, 2021 town meeting election. That's where we'll be voting for the town budget, the town warrant. There's also be two selectmen and one school board member. As, uh, as I've opened the hearing, as we have no public here, so I guess I will close the hearing. It was a very quick hearing. Um, <clears throat> we have no reports of any committees, no appointments or anything this this week. Under unfinished business, we have a poll permit. This is the one up on Alley Pond Road. Is with a apply a application put in by a private power service. Um, we asked uh, Patty to get us some more information on that. She talked to the people at CMP and they reviewed that, and it was all approved by them. They said it was okay. So, is there anything you want to add to that, Patty? I couldn't get my unmute. Um, no, that covers it, Tom. Yep, CMP is all set with it. They knew about the project and approved where it's going. So, all right. We have a motion to accept the poll permit for Ellie Pond Road. I'll make a motion that we accept the poll permit submitted for Ellie Pond Road. Second. No further discussion. I uh, will go through the roll. Is Ken? Yes. Noah? Yes. And myself is a yes. Uh, brings us to the town manager's report. I have a few things. Uh, just the public knows June 30th is a year end for us. The town office will be closing at 2 p.m. so they can close out the books for the year. So it will be up on BCTV on the website. So uh, those people need to pay attention because the doors will be locked and hopefully it would be quiet. Um, the county budget sent me information today. 
for the county did about a public hearing on their budget. Um, everything's going to be done Zoom. Um, if anybody is interested, I'll send you the, uh, the Zoom connection. Uh, it's pretty uneventful. They, as usual, they're doing a good job keeping their budget down. Um, there also is uh, we've been chasing a personal property um, item for a while, and uh, Lisa Vargas has uh, been chasing it uh, along with others, and uh, we couldn't find this business. It was a uh, um, parcel. Uh, he owes us uh, just over 200, well, it's 200, uh, $2,482. Uh, we asked before if we could just write this off. Um, we do have a UCC claim filed. Uh, so if he ever goes bankrupt, we'll get our money uh, uh, for the equipment. Um, but I, I would need a vote uh, for us to write it off our books. So we have to quit chasing it. He, so I would need a vote. Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll make a motion to uh, write off the uh, debt, the personal property, as mentioned by the town manager. I'll second. Is there any discussion? What's the total amount? $2,482. Most of it's, a lot of it's principal. Uh, 1,400 of it principal and the rest is all interest. Um, so the interest will continue to grow a little bit, but uh, it'll come off the books from our uh, general ledger. I wanted to make sure it was on the record. No. All right, is uh, no further discussion. I'll go through the roll with Ken. Yes. Noah? Yes. And myself as a yes. And another item that we need to vote on is uh, we overexpended on the uh, fire station. Um, that was $167,085. We had planned to use uh, the proceeds from selling the uh, old fire station to, to close out that account, uh, but uh, we have to wait till June 8th. Um, I don't think we'll have time to do that. So uh, Lisa would like to ask you to transfer money from the capital improvement budget from the fire department. It has over 303,000 in there and use uh, 167 of that to close out that report. And then when the fire station gets sold, we'll put money back in there. And we also have on the Warren article that we're gonna use that money uh, from proceeds of the sale to pay uh, the, the bond yeah, payment the for the coming year, So, which would be helpful. So I'll need a motion on that if you agree. So moved. A motion. I'll, we have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? Any questions of Steve? Is, is what this was is, is as we're finishing up. Is not just the fire station, but the police station. A lot of yeah. a lot of items came up that weren't were unforeseen, especially in the police station side of it, especially in the electrical part of it. Um, so we will, went over budget on some of that. But is um, we have the money in the capital improvement fund. And as Steve said, our plan is to take the proceeds from the sale of the old fire station and pay everything back off. So is um, no further discussion. I'll go through the roll. Is Ken? Yes. Noah? Yes. And myself is yes. On another note, uh, CATS, which is the Kittery Area Transportation Group that we belong to, uh, James got a letter. He's a representative on that. Uh, we have been approved for $800,000 uh, grant uh, to work on the Sawmill Hill project. Um, the money won't be available until 2024, but it's, it's earmarked for that, which is nice. If we happen to get more money in, in before that to do that, it might be available a year earlier. Uh, and then we would uh, move the 800,000 forward for another year. And we'd have to apply for that as well if we wanted. And we have plenty of projects to, yeah. <laughs> to do. Um, on another note, when it comes to uh, funding, uh, out of the federal government, we finally got some um, COVID-19 recovery funding, which Berwick <clears throat> is targeted to get 784,000 roughly. Um, we have to apply for it. Um, it's gonna be spread over three years. Uh, so uh, once the state has 
everything up on their website. It all comes through the state. Uh, the feds will send the state money, uh, and we're prepared to uh, apply for that so we can uh, do some projects that we haven't been able to do uh, because of the COVID-19, and it's also uh, being allowed to use for some water projects, which we definitely have a use for. Yeah. So uh, that is that money. Also, the earmark that's coming out of the Senate um, f- for the municipalities, um, we I've been talking with Senator Collins's office and Angus King's office. Both the representatives have been g- g- keeping us up to date, and th- that paperwork has come through. So we're sending off uh, four different projects. One is the uh, water project, which is to me is a priority one. Um, also, uh, we have the uh, bridges uh, on uh, Diamond Hill and Ridland Road. Uh, the uh, Eric Calderwood uh, uh, called me a few weeks back and uh, told me, uh, gave me an estimate on the cost is about seven hundred thousand dollars for each bridge. So it's a little bit higher than what I got five years ago, and I'm sure it will continue to climb if we don't get access to it. So we put that in there as well. Um, And James is submitting stuff on uh, downtown redevelopment, economic development. So there may be some funding. We're hoping to get some of the recovery funding to go towards recreation as well, to replace uh, things that we had planned to do. So uh, it's a lot of things on our plate still, even though it seems to be somewhat of a quiet time of year, Um, but we're getting ready for paving and a bunch of all this funding. So um, Wright Pierce uh, emailed me today. They're working on the uh, search for uh, underground water, wells, aquifers. Uh, They have completed their geophysical study um, survey and they expect to be putting together the data to make a proposal to us, hopefully next week or the week after. So we're moving for a little bit behind. They thought they'd have everything done by May, but I, I, we're still within the time frame that uh, we need to get the 1.2 million passed so we can have access to that as well to start doing some of the recommendations. So otherwise, that's, I have nothing else. Yeah. Any questions of Steve? If not, I'll move on. Um, there's a uh, selectman's communication, York County budget here, and the same as what Steve had said. You know, so that's basically it. That brings us to accounts payable. We have a payroll warrant number 72 for May 20th, 2021. The amount is $71,798.45. We have account payable warrant number 74. For May 25th, 2021, for the amount of $214,872.29. And we have a payroll warrant number 73 for May 27th, 2021, for the amount of $71,020.94. I'll make a motion to pay the bills. So we have a second. Second. Motion in a second. No further discussion. I'll go through the roll. Is Ken? Yes. Noah? Yes. And myself is a yes. Three nothing, Patty. That brings us to new business and the paid time off policy. Which we has been had, gone going for a while. It has been many ongoing for a while. We had a little bit of, um, this is strictly for the non-union employees. It mirrors hope the um, the um, personnel policy is going to be an insert for some changes. We had uh, some discussion amongst the department heads on how it would work, and they had a lot of good questions. So we put it off, and we made some adjustments, um, which I sent to you, um, and we should be all set. So that will take care of that uh, project, which is Patty. Uh, a bunch of people have been working on at least Houston and. Uh, Lisa Vargas and a few of us. So um, a little bit of a change for us. So, um, Any questions of Steve? Steve, you said this uh, mirrors the contracts that we have in place with the union employees? Um, no, it, it doesn't mirror the uh, Teamsters 
that's a little bit different. Uh, we're hoping we, we have contract negotiations coming uh, for this coming year. Um, we're hoping to uh, use that as a negotiating tool to switch to that. Right now, the police department has a modified version of the personal time off. So it, it's not a big issue with them. Uh, it's pretty much the same. It's, it's the Teamsters that will have to be, hopefully we'll get to be able to change that. It's, it's just a smoother way of doing things. Uh, Governor Mills put together a um, legislation that um, gives people uh, up to 80 days off a year. Um, uh, and we had to do something to you know, work, correct that in our um, personnel policy. So this is a way of doing it. Any further questions? If not, I'll look for a motion to accept the, pers the paid time off policy. There's no money. So moved. We have a motion. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? I'll just say, I'll just say, is no. I've I've been talking to Steve and uh, several of the other uh, employees about this over the last few weeks, and uh, is uh, there's been a, a big change from the first proposal. Yeah. As uh, the not all the employees are happy with it, but is uh, the it's more digestible, I guess you could say. And they understand the reasoning behind it. So, um, with that, I'll uh, go through the roll. Is Ken? Yes. Noah? Yes. And myself is a yes. So, it's not on the agenda, but is uh, Patty re just brought me. Uh, uh, it's another mutual aid assistance with uh, the police, like we signed with uh, York. Was it last it's, week? Yeah, yeah. Um, this one is with South Berwick. It's basically it's the same thing. It just says that you know we will uh, at the at the chief's discretion to assist, and uh, it's basically the exact same agreement that we went over for the York one. So um, <clears throat> any. Questions on it? If not, I'll look for a motion to accept. So moved. We have a motion with a second. 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 Um, any further discussion? If not, I'll go through the roll. Is Ken? Yes. Noah? Yes. And myself is yes. This is very similar to what uh, we do in the fire department with mutual aid when there's a need and shortage of help. Uh, we help each other out, which is a good thing. Um, we have no quick claim deeds, no abatements, no public second public comment, no executive session. Um, under the other business non-agenda items um, is, I, you know, unfortunately, Mark's not going to be here, isn't here tonight, and Ken, you're leaving us, but um, is... Noah, something that we need to discuss is whether we want to start our in-person meetings again. As, um, I was literally going to bring that up at the end of this meeting. <laughs> I was yep. just going to be like, when are we, are we going to go back to the meetings in the, in the town hall? Um, I have no problem either way. I mean, it's certainly more convenient not to leave my house, but <laughs> uh, I, I, I do miss the in-person stuff. So yeah. I'm, I'm open to it. As long as everybody's vaccinated, I'm fully vaccinated. I'm sure you guys are too. So, yeah, um, you know, it, unfortunately, we can't ask other people that. Yeah. Technically, um, is um, I'm in, I'm in favor of it. Also, we do we do lose something without having the in person meetings. I think, and um, it, it, it's that, just that much better for us to interact with each other and for the public to see us interacting together. I think so. I think we just ask the public. If they have not been vaccinated, please wear a mask if you come in yeah. to the building. Um, that's the only request I have to protect my selectmen and, and staff. So um, after after the vote on May 8th and we find out who the next you know, two selectmen are going to be, maybe two select women, we don't know. 
is uh, we'll I'll I'll reach out to them and talk to them and see. But I I do think that we should, you know, safely come back into meetings again. So, is uh, yeah. um, that brings us up to the other item I wanted to bring up is Kenya leaving us. Is uh, we appreciate your three years of service. You've been a good steady hand. Is um, is I'm gonna miss having you check the minutes because that means I'm gonna have to check them more closely now. <laughs> Is uh, I, I wish Ed was here. Is um, I really appreciate Ed staying on the way he did. Is um, he came? He was here before I came back on the board, and uh, he went through some of the worst times that Berwick has seen. And um, he's been a good, steady hand. So I'm sure that the next two select people who come on, they're going to do their job just as well as anybody else, and. Uh, I guess that's all I have to say about that. So, thanks. Okay. It, it was a learning experience, that's for sure. It is an experience. It is a teaching experience. It's a real education. Is um, is you know, I my my first term back in the mid '90s, I was as green as could be and didn't know a thing. And uh, by watching, you know, the people who had been there for a while, you know, and and watching what they did is. Uh, it you know really helps. It gives you a real understanding of how government works in towns. So, so. without that, we have one other motion. Motion to adjourn. The motion to adjourn. I'll second it. All those in favor, say aye. Aye. Right, Ken. Patty's right on the. Yep. Right on the minute. Seven fifty. Yep. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> Goodbye, Ken. Goodbye. Um, Patty, I will see you tomorrow morning. Thank you, Ken.